At the core of Extreme Networks lies a fundamental belief that IT should enable our customers to excel in their respective markets. In this demo, you will see how Extreme Networks enables an autonomous network that applies cross-vertically and intricately maps to industry use cases that Extreme diligently identifies and maps to the technology. Let's begin with the onboarding of a device and what makes this so special. Operational efficiency is top of mind for our customers. Ultimately, if the ability to turn up services quickly fails, chances are user experience is not far behind as it inhibits an organization's ability to adapt and innovate quickly. Extreme Networks provides ZTP+, which enables intelligence down to the device with an agent preloaded to translate the software configuration to the OS-specific device. Let's see what this would actually look like. Well, it's pretty simple. First, we'll connect the switch. Let the Extreme Management work its magic. Let's review the results. Okay, so we see that the network topology now shows the newly added switch, but we can drill down to confirm the configuration. Take notice of the VLAN shown here, and why should you care? Remember I mentioned service delivery? Every service we use is associated with the network and requires security, or you're essentially a house on a hill with no locks on the door, just asking for a breach. The time it would take in traditional, overly complex networks to deploy a new IT service involves a collaborative effort amongst isolated groups to map policy to VLANs and access lists, and then spend cycles daisy-chaining that across the network as it traverses across IP borders beyond the LAN. Imagine a retailer opening up pop-up stores the resources they have on hand for each store, and the lack of knowledge a store associate has to do much more than plug in a switch. With zero-touch provisioning, Extreme removes the barrier to scale the network on demand and otherwise. Okay, great, so we have the store up and running, but theft is a concern. Let's plug in a video surveillance camera. Video surveillance, along a plethora of other peripheral devices, have been well-known points of vulnerability to the network, Typically, a maintenance window would be required to secure the device and a cross-functional collaboration to map the policy across multiple protocols. If we unplug the camera from the switch and this port is available, what happens if it is attempted to be exploited, as we've seen with many headlines of network breaches in the past? Let's plug in this laptop, for example, and see if it is applied the same policy than that of the camera we just disconnected received. Let's check the configuration in the dashboard. So we see the IP address in the VLAN, and the network services are different than that of the camera that was connected. Extreme Control applies granular security based on users, groups, applications, and device, while intelligently mapping which method the client device is connected by. In the port view within Extreme Management Center, you will see whether a client is connected via wired or wireless even to the switch that the AP is connected to. Think about all of the times a store associate phones IT with complaints about the network is slow or the network isn't working. All the while, poor connections are interrupting business as usual and consumers browsing in the store cafe. Extreme policy allows IT administrators to isolate the issue quickly without a wild goose chase to find which switch and which switch port the AP is connected to. Sticking with the theme of retail, we all know that wireless connectivity is an essential part of the consumer experience. We now see that we can easily onboard wired devices, but we know that the primary means of connectivity is via wireless. Extreme's fabric is inclusive of both wired and wireless devices and will therefore be auto-provisioned with the appropriate policy and services autonomically. In our pop-up store use case, Wireless is critical for mobile payments, consumer connectivity, and analytics driven by consumer behavior in the store. Again, nothing has been touched manually to configure these devices as both wired and wireless endpoints participate in the fabric. Now conceptualize you're one of the customers in this pop-up store. You're excited to discover you don't have to wait in the long line to check out because of the mobile checkout option. Only problem is the application is taking forever to load and the line that seemed too long is now passing you by as you wait for a stable connection. Not long after, IT is summoned to diagnose the issue. 
With Extreme OmniWatch mobile application, diagnostics can be gathered by identifying access points and retrieving information via a REST API from the Extreme Cloud Appliance. iBeacons locate the closest APs and display number of clients connected, RF quality, channel utilization, IP and MAC address, types of clients connected, and more, allowing IT staff to pinpoint the source of the probable issue quickly and tune the APs remotely for optimal connectivity. The benefit to IT is an efficient workflow and quick time to resolution due to visibility and insights the mobile OmniWatch app provides. Extreme Location Analytics provides more granular detail that enables insights into shoppers or guest behavior and reveals efficacies of store product configuration and use of personnel. For contextual information of consumer behavior, Wi-Fi and BLE beacons track where users are in the store and can push notifications to their phone at the right time and place. Apps like Wayfinding are also enabled with the BLE beacons, over time, understanding consumer habits allowing retailers to connect more meaningfully with customers. Distinguishing between first-time versus repeat customers is captured, as well as visit duration. Operational efficiencies based on visibility provided with Extreme Location is accomplished with a Google Map view that shows each site and the trends of customer visits going on for each site each day. Per floor, all of the devices in each store are displayed along with the number of visitors and associates, whether they are connected to the Wi-Fi or not. Access points can be configured as sensors and locate nearby visitors, improving the TCO for organizations and improve accuracy of user traffic and presence detection for a more precise conversion rate calculation. Zone detection helps hyper-focus areas where visitors are most dense and perhaps reconfigure the stores to optimize foot traffic or populate said area with more staff. Heat maps provide a great visual to get an accurate historical data of where to place items based on areas of high population. And crowding alarms inform operational managers where human resources are needed most. For example, if assistance is needed at the checkout line due to a long queue. Convenience is desired amongst consumers, but sometimes it can come at a steep cost. In the case that a point of sale becomes corrupt or any other connected thing in the store has been compromised, such as smart mirrors, printers, or digital signage, the brand reputation is at risk as well as consumer PCI information. Indicators of compromise can be identified and brought to the attention of IT staff automatically with extreme AI security. Anomalies are visually represented in the graph based on behavior. For example, a cluster of printers indicates that they are all behaving normally based on posturing and profiles of said device. But an outlier of a particular device away from the cluster would show that it is deviated from the norm. Extreme AI intelligence flags changes such as this and rates the threat based on severity and proactively automates a threat response to mitigate the risk. Murphy's Law would prove time and time again that at the most critical and peak times, if the network could fail, it will fail. And in today's connected era, that pretty much equals disaster and lost revenue. Ever been shopping on Black Friday? With Extreme's automated campus solution, resiliency is inherent to the fabric. You would actually have to work harder to try to lose connectivity. Yes, I'm serious. Let's test this theory. The switch is connected to the fabric. You see the physical switch here and indicated here in the fabric topology. The path it is currently taking is shown on the dashboard. I'm going to pull the cable from the switch. Take notice of the streaming video before I do so. A millisecond of downtime would clearly reveal itself with an interruption of the video stream. As you can see, the cable has literally been pulled from the switch, but the video stream was not interrupted. How is that possible? Even the fastest network convergence times would experience latency. But that's where the problem lies. Latency is introduced by a stack of protocols that must go through their rules of communication before passing on information across the network, like lost connection to a port. Extreme's Fabric Connect technology has only one protocol and a distributed control plane. This translates to sub-millisecond convergence times hyper-resilient network and the a priori knowledge of every available path for every node in the fabric. 
let's check the path the switch has taken as an alternative since we pulled the cable in the primary path. As you can see, it failed over seamlessly and connectivity was never lost. Feel free to shop in peak season without delays, and retailers can rest assured that business will go on as usual despite the high demands on the network. Once we plug the cable back in, you can see that the path has failed back over without a glitch in the stream. Whether it is a healthcare provider using telemedicine, a university enabling esports for their students, or a retailer targeting a better customer experience and engagement, Extreme's Autonomous Network provides flexibility, intelligence, and an enhanced experience for our customers to realize an autonomous enterprise.